Let's try to configure our article layout using display suite module. Before that, let's open one of the article and take a look at the content first. So this page, we have a thumbnail image, we have body, and some photos, as well as, as well as a YouTube video that we embedded. Now, we're going to put the thumbnail image to the left and some fields to the right. And then we'll create a bootstrap tab to place some other fields like body, photo gallery, and video. So let's do it. So let's go to the module page to install the module. Now display suite helps with the layout display. If you are not familiar with the display suite, there's a full series of videos here you can learn. Click on screencast. There are many videos here you can learn about this nice module. You are strongly recommended to watch all these videos to understand better on how it works as I won't go into detail on each function and feature. I will only show you some of the features and skills which are enough to do our works. Alright? So back to the module page. Let's scroll down. This module support Drupal 8 so it's quite a nice module that you can continue to use it even in Drupal 8 later. Copy the link, back to our site, go to modules, install new module, paste it here, and click install. So let's enable the module, look for display suite, let's turn on display suite, UI, yes very important, and turn on extras, and format. There are also display suite for forms and search. You can explore yourself. So let's save the configuration. Alright, let's go to structure, content types, article, manage display. Scroll down. Layout for article in default. Here you can select a layout to enable display suite functionality. So we are going to choose two column stack. Scroll down. Let's save it. Now you will see several new regions created here. There's header, left region, right, and footer regions. You can simply drag and drop the fields into a different regions. For left region, now let's put this image. Drag it to the left region. Image tie. We can use large. It's fine. The body will drag it to the footer and photos as well. This is a photo gallery. We're going to create one. YouTube to the footer. So later we are going to create a tab for these three fields. For the text we can put at the left here. Submitted by. Let's put on the right region. For this right region. We will create another field for short description and place it here as well. Scroll down. Now if you notice, once you have enabled the display suite module, some fields are available here where you can assign easily to the region like title, read more, links, and all this. Alright? So it's a very nice module. Let's scroll down. Let's save it first and take a look. Now, let's go to one of the articles. That's great. You can see the left column and right column now. There are two regions. And for this image, we are going to make it to be responsive later. We can do it with CSS easily. So we have body view. We have photos as well as YouTube video. Nothing much change. We'll do something about it later. Now let's make this image to be responsive. Let's open our text editor.
back to our site. Alright, let's target the CSS class properly. So we're going to target this um, note type article. Let's copy this class. Dot. Okay. What about this field? Let's target this field. Okay. I think we'll target this field name field image. Right. Dot. Okay. We're going to target the image. Maximum width 100% and height will set it to auto. Right, and save it. This is back to our page. Close it and refresh and see. Yep, that's great. It's responsive now. Let's resize the browser. Good, great. Now, you will notice the left and right regions will remain the same throughout all the screens. That's because the default field classes and styles used by your display suite are not responsive. So to fix this, we will disable the layout CSS styles and create our own instead. Alright? So let's back to original. We can access and manage display from here. Let's open a new tab. Right, scroll down. Now let's go to custom class this time. Manage region and view CSS class. Now we create some bootstrap grid classes to use for the regions. I will copy the classes and paste it here. So I will use all these classes to cater for the medium and the small screen. You can add your own set of course. Now let's scroll down and save the configuration. Let's manage display again. Scroll down. Custom classes. Now the set of classes we created just now will be listed here for each region. That means you can select the classes for each region. So for the left region, we're going to select column MD7. Now for the right region, we'll select column md5 there's a total of 12 columns all right so for the footer i'll select the last one 12 columns and before we save it we have to disable let's go to layout for article in default and we have to disable the layout css styles so that it won't use the display suite css styles but rather to use our own right so we scroll down and save now if you inspect element and check at the class now, it's great. So we have this one, 7 for the left region and 5 for the right region. All right. So let's um, check the browser. It's great. So it works well. Back to our display again. And let's create a short description for the right region this time. Scroll down. Let's go to custom fields. So here you can add a new field, whether a code field, dynamic field, block field, or even a pre-processed field. Now this time we'll add a dynamic field. We'll create an extra field for a short description and place it at the right region. Now this field is actually a trim body field. So let's click on dynamic view. For the label, we put trim body, entities, node, right? limit view, okay, we will check this one, right here. Now for the bundle, you can understand as content type, you can put as article. Now for view mode, it can be a default or teaser mode. I will limit this view to be shown only on the article content side as well as the default view mode. Now you will notice for this view, there's no setting to select the content here. It's okay. It will be shown only after this view is assigned to a region. So let's save it. 
Now let's assign this to the right region. Scroll down. You'll see the new field created here. So assign it to right region. Go up here. Now this sign, click on the gear here. You can see there's a link to select the content here. Click on this. Now this is awesome. There are many content you can insert into this field. So please explore yourself here. There are menus, custom blocks, note, content, even form. Right? Let's click on note, field body, for label. We don't need it. Now select a formatter. I will use trim, but you can use this one as well if you need it. Let me use trim. Continue. For the length, I'll set to 300. I click finish. Now you can also show the title here, but I won't. Update. I'll scroll down and save it. Let's go to the article. Refresh and see. That's great. Now you see this short description. A new dynamic view that we created just now. Well, it's not necessary to add a short description here really, but my aim is to show you on how you can create extra fields by pulling other content here and assign to different regions. So I'll leave it to you to play around. Let's proceed.